Saturday, it's day two. We are on Trouser Lake. It's about seven, it's about seven o'clock in the morning. And uh, we're just packing up, just packed up the tent. Richard made some coffee. We got these um, hefty breakfast bars that Rich bakes that are very, very high in calories. And today's the day that we attack the um, Cash Lake portages. So, not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. It was a long day yesterday. We're gonna try to get on the water a little bit earlier today and uh, attack those portages and get them over with. And we're off. This is the very beginning of the portage, so let's see how things go. Oh, well, there's a big hill to climb right at the start. There's a nice big hill to climb right at the beginning. But it's fairly dry. Two minutes in and we have swamp. We've hit the swamp for the next three kilometers. At least it's a trail. It's swampy and tough, but it's, we're not getting lost and there's no down trees yet. So, that's a plus. Okay, we're still on the first portage. I'm walking back to get the green bag. And uh, we're doing a lot of leapfrogging. So, I brought the canoe about 10 minutes up into the portage, left it here, went back and got the barrel and some other loose gear, and then passed the canoe and kept going. Probably can't see on the camera, but all the way for another 40 minutes or so to where there's a river and left the stuff there. And Sean had been at the river, dropped his stuff off, and was, was doubling back. And so now what he's done is he's passed the canoe and gone all the way back to the very beginning where we had one bag left. So I'm gonna get the green one, which is the last thing at the start of the portage, meet Rich at the canoe. We're gonna pick it up and go to where we dropped off the packs which is at the Cache River, which is not the end of the portage, but kind of maybe a third of the way. Cross the river, finish the portage. I'm really hoping we can finish it by noon, have a bit of lunch, and then we cross the lake and do the second portage, which is roughly the same distance. So my, my guess is we're, we'll be done late afternoon, early evening. Uh, keep going, there's nowhere to go, but keep going. This is the Cache River. It's maybe a third, maybe, maybe halfway. So we gotta cuddle across this and then the portage starts again on the other side. We've been doing this for two hours and we're on the second half of the first portage. So step by step, we're making a tiny bit of progress. Bugs are bad, so. Gotta keep that one on. Huh. Huh. This is what we're going through right now. Huh. Oh. Huh. Once we finish. This, I'll probably do this for another 25 minutes. Then I gotta walk back and get the canoe. Ouch! I felt like it was, we had a nice dry spell for a while. It was doing well. Yeah, I know. Huh. Let me stop here for some water. Then. I forgot to take this back off. Huh. We gotta be close, eh? We gotta be pretty close. Yeah, I, I, I think we just keep going. I can finally see the lake a little bit. There it is. Cash Lake. We finally made it.
Oh my god, I'm tired. How do you feel? Incredibly exhausted. But glad I made it. Now we just gotta go grab the canoe. And back. Exhaustion comes through on film. <laughs> it's about four o'clock. We're on Cache Lake, on an island in Cache Lake. Um, the plan for today was to do the first long portage, have lunch in Cache Lake, and do the second long portage. The first long portage took us way longer than we expected. It was just a slog through mud hopping over roots. So we finished, what time did we get into Cash Lake? 2.30. Got into Cash Lake at 2.30, exhausted, hungry, and so figured the best course of action would be to pull over, set up camp, we're going to eat, we're going to go to bed early, and then we're going to wake up early and try to tackle that uh, second portage tomorrow morning and then try to make up time <clears throat> by waking up early. Sean, tell us what's on the menu for tonight at Cache Lake. Well, the plan was to have steak and mushrooms uh, for dinner yesterday, but that took us way longer than we had thought. So we had spaghetti and meat sauce yesterday because it was quick and easy. So today we're going to be cooking up the steak and the mushrooms. So we don't want that to go to waste. on the fire and then once those are all cooked up then I'm gonna throw the steak on there. Nice. Alright it's just about six o'clock in the morning. We are just packing up the tent. We got up around five, got dressed, already had some breakfast and we're gonna try to get on the water shortly and tackle that second portage so we can be done with it. And then we can uh, move on. So hopefully by tackling that early, we can finish it early and then be on the water uh, and actually get some paddling done today. Okay, we are on the second Cache Lake portage. We actually started, it's 8.30, we actually started at about 7.15, so we've been doing this for over an hour. Um, Rich and I are doing a better job leapfrogging everything, so we're just kind of like taking packs or taking the canoe as far as we can, put it down, come back for something else, then go pass it a little bit, etc., etc. So Rich is up there right now. I came back for a pack after carrying the canoe. Um, of course, this poor touch is definitely muddy, definitely a slog, um, but the bright side is that we started early enough, so it's not as hot as it was yesterday. I mean, it's only 8.30, we've been on here for over an hour, and it feels okay, so it's still exhausting. There's the barrel that Rich will come back for. And I mean, there's a, if it's not mud, it's a climb. If it's not climb, it's probably a bog. The bugs are bad. <clears throat> but uh, one step in front of the other is the only way you can do things, right? Here's Sean coming back with some gear. Oh. But I'll show you this pond because right in the middle is a beaver lodge. And it looks like something out of a Bob Ross painting. Just how center it is and alone. <laughs> this beaver has its whole area to himself. Anyway, kind of cool. It's a nice day. It's cooler in the, uh, in the shade of the forest. Sun's coming out. Um, forecast for today was supposed to be cloudy with, uh, with some sun. So we'll see. So far, more sun. Anyway, gonna go back and get the barrel and then meet up with Sean at the canoe. And the next big obstacle is a marsh. And I don't know how to get past that. 
and we gotta walk across it. And I think the trail picks up again on the other side somewhere. Yeah, this, this is the trail, all right. A nice trail. Nice trail. Not gonna be fun carrying the canoe on this. Oh boy. Okay, we've brought just about everything except for the canoe across this ridiculous bog. And then we gotta find where the trail begins again. So, more splashing and sloshing on the bog. There's no trail, you just kinda gotta Say, I want to get to that side, and then you just kind of go. Next obstacle is trying to find where the trail picks up again. Rich has gone the other way, and I've gone this way. I don't know if this is the trail here. It's just like so hard to find anything, any semblance of a trail. Unless it's over here. Looks like there might be something. Like uh, over here. It's definitely an opening, but I don't know if it's a trail or not. This looks like this could be the trail. Okay. Found it. Found it. Yeah. Okay, so sorry I couldn't film this whole thing because it was such a giant obstacle but essentially there's this bog it's just sinking sinking bog like you can't walk through it you have to go around the edges uh, a couple scary points were basically sunk down to our knees and had trouble getting out but we did so we're at the end of it you can see a cross stream here going this way and uh, the runoff actually moved a lot of the logs that were on here originally so someone had Put logs on here to help you move through the trail but I guess the spring runoff moved all those logs off hence the difficulty all right so we got the canoe through it basically I just pushed it through because of the uh, because of the high water it made it a lot easier and uh, this is essentially where the, this little bog ends so up ahead are, are sort of a rocky path and then there's a steep incline so Sean and I are gonna have to carry this one together uh, carry the canoe together and then uh, keep going from there 20 past 11, it's been a long morning. Um, and it's just these obstacles that just keep getting in the way. You know, they're, they're fun, they're challenging, but um, they slow you down big time. It's really tough to, to get a good momentum going through these obstacles. Uh, probably took us a good 45 minutes to an hour just to get all our stuff through this, this bog, which is maybe a couple hundred meters. So that, Hope that gives you an idea of the difficulty of the Cache Lake portages. Sometimes when you're slogging through the bush, as much as it sucks, you gotta stop and appreciate the beauty. Check out this tree. What 
thing's got to be a few hundred years old. It's beautiful. Here's the next hurdle. It looks like it's just mud, but it's also an absolute bog. I uh, already tried walking in it, bringing one of the bags, and sunk well above my knees in mud. Um, and had a lot of trouble trying to get out. So it was a slog. We've tried to clear the side of it as much as possible to avoid it because you step in there, you sink like four feet deep. Next obstacle, this is the trail. Right about there where all those giant branches from this enormous tree have all fallen. So somewhere in there is the trail. So we're gonna see what we can do to figure it out. 105, still not done yet. This portage is shorter than yesterday's, but it is without a doubt tougher. There's way more obstacles and we're not talking like just trees in the middle, there's that, but there's the, you know, the swamp that we had to go through, the bog that we were sinking up to our waist, um, all these things that just slow you down. It's, it's just, it's so hard to get any momentum. Luckily, we're finally on the home stretch. We're less than a kilometer from the lake and um, it's pretty dry. We've already brought some bags on a first leapfrog and uh, Rich is all the way up there with something else. I've just got the canoe that I'm trying to manage. But it's pretty dry for a little bit anyway. So we are exhausted. But we'll get there. We can see the lake. So naturally, there's another tree blocking us. We're gonna cut down this tree, then we're gonna get the lake, and we've got the canoe with us, so we gotta go get the bags. We're uh, not too far behind, but the lake is finally in sight. There is an end. It's uh, 18 past two. We're finally done that second portage. It's going on YouTube, so I'm not gonna swear, but. Man, that was one heck of a portage. Oh, and uh, we're now on Lindsay Lake, beautiful little lake, bit of an overcast. We've got a uh, roughly 50 meter portage ahead of us, which is peanuts compared to what we just did. Um, and it's not far, so we're gonna tackle that, that soon. Right now, Sean's got the uh, water filter going because we are, we are very thirsty. We went through all of our water, and uh, we definitely need more of it. So, let's wait for that to uh, to get done and then get moving. But welcome rest, that's for sure. It's been one heck of a day, one heck of two days actually. But uh, good to be done those two giant uh, pain in the rear end portages. To our campsite. Got it here a little bit late but in time to set up our tent over there, get a little fire over here, and have some spaghetti. Thoughts on the day today Rich? Well I think we should be proud of what we did. Big portage, a lot of paddling, another big portage, though not as big as the first two giant ones and uh, 
yeah, it's nice to just sit down and chill for the evening. It's Ten past nine. Relax a little bit, hit the hay. Do it all again tomorrow. Although, by all again, I mean traveling, not traveling. Uh, yeah, definitely not portaging those again. No. Ever. Those are behind us now. We're not doing that again. Yep. Sam, if you're watching this, you can do it when you're 20. Yeah. You yeah, go for it. Mm -hmm.